I'm so big now, I'm just stuck in my bed all day long. The life I live right now is miserable. It's not no life for anybody to live. And I hate it because I'm not only missing out on my life, I'm missing out on my family's life. All because I love food so much that I can't stop eating. But my Nevea, she doesn't remember a time where I left this bed and this house. We'll be back in two days, OK? Ready? One, two, three. Oh. All right, guys, get him far as up we can. But she's one of the big reasons I'm doing this. I don't know how I've let myself get in the position that I'm in. The solution is to stop. Okay, exactly. But the reality is you haven't wanted to stop eating. You feel like it's time to do something about it? I'm very concerned if we send you home, you won't survive long. So we're going to need to keep you here in the hospital on a controlled diet. Really? Yes. And once we get your weight down a good bit, then the next step is to send you to rehab facility to focus on getting you up and walking again. It's so good to see my daughter, to show her and Jessica the progress I'm making, and to prove to them things are going to be different. It's a big adjustment to being around a lot of temptation with the food we have in the apartment. But Dr. Now warned me about that, and I'm still pushing myself to work hard and hit Dr. Now's goal. You show me you're willing to work hard at this, and you're trying. So I'm going to prove you for weight loss surgery, OK? Yes, sir. Today, we are performing a gastric sleeve on slush. OK, all finished. All right, surgery went very well. I've been pushing myself to get under 375, so I'm hoping I did that. Come a long way from being over 700 pounds to being under 400. So we get you to your um, target weight less than a year. Awesome, that sounds amazing. Okay. Uh, I just want to say thank you. And uh, you've completely changed not only my life, but my family's too. And we really appreciate it. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love you. I love you too. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Awesome. You guys ready to go have fun? I'm ready to catch some fish, yes, sir. Heck yeah, man. Let's, Let's do it. it. Let's do it. Everybody just grab that right there. Huh? But I got it. Step, Step on, on in. Looking good there. Yeah, we've got you. We got you. A little over a year and a half ago, there's no way I'd be able to even get out of bed, much less go outside and get on a boat. I'm so big now, I can't do anything on my own. And it's been that way for me for two and a half years. But using a walker would have made it just about impossible to be able to do this. So I made it my goal to start walking on my own. And I've done that, and it feels incredible to be able to walk. That's a school trout. We're going to get up here and pull a couple of lures. You do that right there. Straight out here? Yes, sir. It's a good look there, baby. I'm really excited about life and all the things I'm going to be able to start doing. You're getting the hang of this. All right. <laughs> yeah, you got that, bud. I'm still working hard to lose more, and I'm going to get my last skin removal. And I'm going to do what I need to get to my target and achieve what I need to get healthy and stay healthy for the rest of my life. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. I'm taking my family to the zoo today. Come on, girls. Go see some animals. And we're all excited about going out and having a fun day. Look at the baby goat. I want a goat. We should get a farm. I am loving life now because I'm no longer this burden that my family has to take care of every day. I'm living life with them now instead of watching everything pass me by from my bed. 
because I can be as active as I want now. And I have a job, me and Jessica are married, and we moved into a place of our own, which is everything I've dreamed of having and doing someday. He's ready, look at him. He's like, yeah, feed me. <laughs> I'm gonna give him one. Come Hi, on. Titus. Uh -huh. oh, we touched his toe. Yes. I have a little ways left to go to get to my target weight, but I know I'll be there really soon. How many calories do you think those things eat a day to sustain that weight? Probably more than 1,200. I, I would imagine. Oh, it's probably like a bite awesome. for them. Doctor Now said at the weight I'm at now, I can go back down to Houston and get the skin removal around my stomach anytime I want. So I'm planning that soon, but I'm in no hurry because the excess skin around that part of my body isn't bothering me as much as what was on my leg. I have work now that I have to figure out time off from. Let's see what's in this little pen right oh, here. Oh, that's a porcupine. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Look how big they are. So my plan is to get it in the next four to five months when I can make the time. I can't see. Come here. Ready, jump, one, two, three. Oh, hi. Doctor now said that'll probably take another 10 pounds or so off me. So I'm practically at my goal. And I know once I do get there, my focus will shift to maintaining my weight loss for the rest of my life. I love the life I have now. And I never want to risk losing it to food ever again. I can't believe how much life has changed. So this kid's as active as he can. He wants to do as much as he can. He takes the kids everywhere, does everything with them. It's amazing how well he's done. I'm so proud of him. I'm very proud of him because he tends to spend more time with me and my sisters. So dad, take me home. <laughs> Y'all have a great Thank time. You. Thank you. Awesome. I used to think, like, he's not going to be here the next day. Like, I used to, like, run that through my mind all the time. But now that he's better, I know he's going to be here forever. Oh, looky, look, look, look. There's the turtle. Where? Right there by dad. Where? Oh, hi. I've been given a second chance at life, and I couldn't be more grateful for everything this opportunity has given me but I know it's gonna take a lot more hard work for me, emotionally and physically, to maintain all of this, and I'm gonna do it. Because I have my family as motivation to keep going and doing all I need to stay healthy so I can keep being a part of their lives. It's amazing now I can get out and walk this whole thing and not be tired and be ready to go do something else. <laughs> I spent enough time laying in bed. I try to be there as less as possible now. There's too many things to go and do and see and experience, you know? I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. And I'm excited about all the things I can do now and the possibilities that are out there for me now. Now that my weight's not holding me back because I can live my life to the fullest now. And that's what I intend to do.